Hello guys, my name is BRT Cobra and today we are going to be taking a full in-depth look at the Green Hell roadmap. This will include everything that is planned for release of 1.0. This means features, content and yes, even cooperative mode has been confirmed. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay guys, so before we begin, let's read a statement from the developers themselves. This is what they say. We understand that many early access games are left in limbo with updates that are few and far between. Inspired by our players and community, we are striving to make a timely updates that matter, but never at the cost of quality to the game. Taking into account the massive amount of feedback and all the inspiration provided by the community, the full story mode is moving slightly forward to give us the time we need to implement as many suggestions as possible. From day one, Creepy Jar has endeavoured to make the best experience possible for our players, with the focus being an engrossing, challenging single player game. True to our word, the push to 1.0 will see many requested features come to light, but there was one constant request that we could no longer ignore. After polishing Green Hell to be a truly captivating single player game, we will work to deliver a properly instituted co-op mode. Okay, so now on to the good stuff. As you can see here, autumn 2018, we are going to get a animal update and a water update. The new animals, you can see pictures there. It doesn't really give much away, but you can see a tortoise, an armadillo, and I believe that's a tapir. Expect new animals. That's all I can say, which is good. It's always nice to have new animal types, especially dangerous ones. Hopefully no more snakes. There's also going to be new building types. So for those that love crafting, uh, you're going to get that. Buildable huts and so on, uh, mud huts and so on. We'll, we will go further into that later. I can confirm that there will be new plants. So more options, hopefully more around the island too, because uh, around the Amazon forest, because currently people do have difficulty finding some of the bandages. For some, they're all over the place. For others, it's a real chore to find just a bandage. Uh, also, a new challenge mode, Hunter. I guess we'll be going for certain animal types, maybe jaguars and so on like that, crocodiles and whatnot. Which brings me on to the next, the water update. We're going to see a new map area, maybe a lake by the looks of it. New water animals, crocodiles, alligators, I don't know which would be here. Swimming and diving. Swimming and diving sounds awesome, but obviously dangerous. Piranha fish, the crocodiles and so on. Uh, fishing. Now, the fishing is looking good. From what I gather, we will be using fishing rods, maybe crafted out of sticks, rope, and those little grubs you get from the logs you find. There will be fish traps, new water plants. So look for medicinal plants underwater too, which is great. Uh, and a new challenge angler. So that confirms the fishing. You will be obviously trying to catch the biggest fish or as many as possible, but all very nice. And that will be early autumn. So here we go. Not far off for that one. Great, now let's go on to the next one. Okay, so now on to winter 2018-2019. Uh, we're going to see new human enemies, armor systems, human traps, AI behaviors, AI damage systems, and new challenge scenario. So I love new challenges. Maybe we'll be hunting humans for a challenge, who knows. Uh, the new human enemies, uh, currently there's already quite a lot. Hopefully with the AI behaviors tweak, they will sort them out and make it... Uh, you know attacks less frequent and obviously combat needs a lot of work too uh, i find that when i attack the ai all kinds of things happen but it's early access and as they say there uh, ai behaviors ai damage system is all going to be tweaked so that's good this is the big update this is a mud building update now with a mud building update does this mean that we are going to be able to build our own proper bases uh, i think so looking at the picture there you can see it is with sticks and mud and a proper actual like hut. So it looks like maybe for those that love their uh, Minecraft stuff, we're, we're going to get like to be able to build our own villages within the Amazon rainforest. And I will love that. I, I think that I would just unleash my building talents in this game it would just be fantastic for me. I will love it. There's also going to be forging. So I'm guessing we're going to be able to make our own metal blades, machetes, uh, axes, metal weapons, arrows, all kinds of stuff, which is great. I love the idea of that. New items and crafts, obviously that's going to come with forging, so that's already self-explanatory there. 
a new challenge scenario again i guess you've got to build something ridiculous maybe for that challenge who knows it's just guesswork at the moment there's not a very detailed release about that yet and then of course sometime next year we're going to get the full story mode now this i am looking forward to the first 20 minutes that you got with green how as a tutorial was the first 20 minutes of the story and for me it was engrossing it was very good I thoroughly enjoyed it and it left me wanting more and I can't wait to see what they do with the story. I hope that it's a long minimum five hour story that is really really engrossing and challenging and fun. There's also going to be new map areas, new human enemy as it already said before, new challenge scenarios. So yeah all good stuff and a lot to look forward to. Okay and so now to wrap things up the last and final bit of news is cooperative mode is finally coming to green hell yes it's been announced you wanted it you've got it it's coming spring 2019 so quite some way off but it will be added as a free dlc how this will affect the development of the rest of the game i'm not sure i'm hoping that they've put it back as far as spring so that they can focus solely on the single player experience and make it the best possible single player they can before adding this free dlc so yeah, co-op confirmed. There you go, you have it. Congratulations. Let's just hope it doesn't, like I say, affect the single player. And yeah, I think that about wraps it up for today, guys. A uh, little update video for you. Uh, the full roadmap of what's coming to Green Hell. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more update videos on Green Hell, don't forget to hit the sub button and the little bell icon to notify you when the videos are released. But as I say, I'm wrapping it up. And yeah. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.